Who's next? Come on here. I thought you were trying to escape from this school. Why do you keep ending up here? Because you all die here for killing me. <laughs> he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. He is my protector, my provider. He is my warrior, and in Him, O oh Lord, will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He will deliver me from every plant of the enemy. No eye of the enemy will see me. In Jesus' name, amen. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. I will stay under his wings and I will trust his wings and he will protect me and provide for me each and every time. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night. Please, I'm sorry, please. I'm sorry, please. Shh. This is the seventh time I'm warning you. Yet you feel I was bluffing? No, you think I am bluffing? <laughs> we even heard you went around bragging that we cannot do anything. That we are just dogs that don't bite. But you see, today, we are going to bite you and feed you with rabbits that no doctor can cure. <gasps> see this more at all. You've not even lasted up to a year in this school. And you're already in users. <laughs> you know? You should have asked questions. I heard you are very smart. You're smart, right? You're smart. You're not smart. There is this saying that when you go to Rome, you do what the Romans do. I believe you've heard that, haven't you? The first thing you would have done was to ask questions. Real questions. About who gives the rules and who makes the rules in this school. We deal with everyone. Everyone and even teachers inclusive. We make them run, resign, and disappear from the surface of the school. Talk less of a mess to them like you. <laughs> so pity. If we decide to make you disappear, you will disappear and nothing will happen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, girl. I'm sorry. Calm down. Oh. Is your father still alive? Stop panicking. Bring it down. I'm sorry. My father will always tell me that a fly that does not listen to advice follows the corpse to the grave. I'm sorry. Just a piece of advice. I'm sorry. You know, I think I know exactly what to do with you. I'm sorry. Since you're proving hard, I'll give you something hard. 
<laughs> Something really hard. Just to examine how hard you can be. Please. I'm sorry, I'm sorry too. I'm sorry. I mean, we all are sorry, right? Please. Mm -hmm. Fine, girl. We are sorry. <laughs> Let me have it. I'm on level. <laughs> She's not hard. <laughs> I'm not hard. I'm so crazy, girl. I'm so sorry. Please, 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 thank you, please. Hold up. Please, please, I beg you, please. Please. Open your mouth. Please. Open your mouth. 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 <laughs> Will you stand up? What I gave you is ordinary paracetamol. Now listen to me. The next time this repeats itself, I'll give you something worse and more dangerous. Wiggly. Stand up! Why is she turning her head? Uh, what is wrong with that? Oh, I'm hungry. <gasps> what do you use of? Why are you guys so hungry? Ah, what is wrong with her? Uh, what happened to her? After her. She 
told me that was just paracetamol. Huh? If it's just paracetamol, why did he get her mad? What are we going to do now? See, Eve, you need to call her. You have to tell her what's going on before this gets out of hand. We have a bigger issue at hand, girls. That girl. The girl that saw us first. Something is telling me she's going to sink. We need to attend to her right now. Eve, I do not understand this whole thing. How can a mere paracetamol get somebody mad? This whole thing is getting out of hand. We need to attend to that girl first. Something is telling me she's going to sing. Let's go for her first before she starts singing. Yes. She will sing. She will sing. Let's go. Lisa, are you okay? What happened? Why are you looking around the room? Why are you sweating? I don't know. I don't know. Lisa, tell me what. Did you hear that? <laughs> with her. Lisa. What's happening? Maureen, I know what happened to that girl. How? Yes, I know exactly what happened to her. Then tell me what happened to her, so we'll go tell the principal. No, just, Lisa, tell me. You're going to report on her. Please, just keep this to yourself. Okay. I'm telling nobody about it, you understand? I saw you. That's me, seniors.
Look, if it's anything concerning those seniors, don't tell me, okay? I shall not want to leave me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. Even when I walk through the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. The Lord is with me. I walk and I. Ah! Mr. Principal is a bad boy. Mr. Principal, you are a bad boy. You are a very bad boy. Tell them to ring the bell. Tell them to dish out the food. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Are you out of your mind? Are you out of your mind? Have you lost your sense of responsibility and respect? Have you lost your sense of responsibility and respect? Oh! You are eating! You are eating! And I'm hungry! You are eating Orisa Sativa! Oh! Mr. Principal, you are a very bad boy! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Principal! Ah! Huh. You're a bad boy. Principal is a bad boy. You are a very, very bad boy. You are eating. Everybody is hungry, you are eating. And we eat your Orisa Sataiba for you. <laughs> what, what, what's the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this? What? Principal is a bad boy. Principal is a bad boy. Jerry, Principal go please. Principal is a bad boy. Ah! Jerry, security now. Ah! Now. Kaiba. What's the meaning of this? What is wrong with her? Sir, I don't really know. She behaves like someone who smoked weed. Weed? In my school? Sir. These students do lots of horrible things in the school. Is that so? Oh. All right. All right. Place of the most style shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom will I trust. He shall deliver me from the snow of the fowler and from the noise of pestilence. God, please save me from the trials and temptation. What happened? What did you give me? I thought what you gave me was paracetamol, so why is she mad? I have already told you that what I gave to you was paracetamol. Hold on a second. Did you give her something else? No. No! Then how come she's mad? I don't know, I should be asking you that. Because you gave it to me. <sighs> we have a bigger problem. Someone saw us. Who? Some, some junior students. Listen, Eve, you go handle the junior students while I handle Kaima's issue. Am I well understood? Look, I, I, I don't want to be implicated anymore. I already have a, enough bad name in the school. Eve, just go do as I have instructed you while I handle Kaima's issue. thing is getting out of hand. She has obviously lost it. The principal is going to conduct an intensive investigation on this issue. We need to handle that girl. She is our only problem right now. Jacinta, 
I needed to be on that girl. Monitor every move she makes in this school. And when the school dismisses, we bring her to the no man's land. Let's know what we're going to do with her. I'm having a bad feeling about this. Where is Eve? Come with me. Yes, come in. Wow, sir. She ran out of the gate and was hit by a tricep. Oh, Lord. So where's the girl now? The copper took her to the hospital. Oh, sir. The way, the way I'm seeing this, the girl is dead. Miss Jane, get the regulator to summon an assembly immediately. It's urgent. We, we have bad news. We just lost a student. Jesus. Which of the students? You know Chikaima Obi? Yes, I know well, her. She just ran mad and uh, tried to run out of the school. The security men tried to apprehend her, but she, she ran out and she got uh, hit by a tricycle and she died. You mean she's dead? Oh, yes. I just got a confirmation call to that effect from oh. Copa Jerry. So, please, let the regulator summon an assembly immediately. I'll be there to address them. All right, so I'll do that immediately. Yeah. Uh, I think something... I think something has happened to her. Happened to whom? That girl. Which girl? The girl that almost... I don't know, the girl that was behaving like she was mad. Oh. Now do you know that? I don't know, I, I can feel, I can feel it. You can feel it. Well, whatever you're feeling, keep it to yourself. Well, let's go to the assembly. Stand up. Hmm. 
If you talk, you die. <laughs> Why are you following me? Hey, I'm asking you. Why are you following me? Do you have something to say? Um, I'm trying to report what? Hey, you students! This way, come on, come here! Immediately! At the double! Are these my students? I said, come here, in fact! All of you, meet me in my office now. Oh, look and look at this joke. What nonsense. I told you if you talk, she die. I just can't understand it. She was fine this morning when we saw all of a sudden she's mad. How is that even possible? What's the meaning about this? Oh, Cherry. Could it, it's okay. What do you think could have made her mad? I mean, I understand. I share in your pains too. Listen, Jerry, I'm here for you. Just in case you need anything. Is there anything you want me to do for you? I'm sorry. Okay, sir. Who was that? I have to see the principal. You know I love you very much. Just let me know if you need anything. Thank you. understand this how can my student 
be sane one moment. Then the next moment she runs mad. And then she's knocked down by a tricycle and she dies. I mean, how do I explain that to her parents? <sighs> eh? James, how was she able to run out of the school gate? I've always told you that school gate has to always be shut. Uh, uh, no, Oga, 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 the gate could be shut. Now, one teacher and I are driving, so by that time, the gate they open. That's why she feels we don't come outside, Oga. Oh my God, this is this is this is big. You know, her father is a police officer. I, I'm finished. I'm finished. Uh, Jerry, good day, sir. I hear you're friendly with the deceased. Yes, she's my friend and more like a sister to me. Oh God, how did this happen? I, I don't know, sir. I'm as confused as you are, sir. When we saw this morning, she was fine. All of a sudden, I saw her shouting out, was misbehaving. But does she smoke, smoke marijuana, marijuana or any of the hard drugs? No, sir. She doesn't smoke. She's a good girl who always come for extra moral lessons. This is so painful, sir. We have to inform her parents because I've taken her body to the mortuary at the hospital. Oh God! Oh God! Oh my God! Hey! See, 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 see. You guys need to stop panicking. Okay? Stop panicking. What are you talking about? That we should stop panicking? That girl went mad after we gave her what you gave us. And if I may ask, what exactly did you give us? I have already told Evia that was paracetamol. So what made her mad? How could she just go mad? That is exactly what I do not know. I'm confused. But listen, you guys need to keep your mouth shut. Guys, what is the problem here? The problem here is that girl that saw us. What are we going to do about it? Leave that to me. I'll handle it. Like I said, you guys need to keep your mouth shut and stop panicking. I think I'm the one who's supposed to be this restless. Are you okay? I, I, I'm, I'm fine. It's just that I'm, I'm worried about the whole situation. <sighs> yes, me too. I'm seriously restless. Like, I'm very much restless. I really... Uh, I didn't say <laughs> Look, I really need to report this to someone. Anybody. The principal, Mr. Jerry, anybody or else. Oh. Mona Lisa. <sighs> Look, I need you to calm down, okay? How on earth do you want me to calm down? Just calm down. I I know who we can meet that will keep us safe. Who's that? Don't worry, you find out. Let's let's just go, okay? It's getting late. All right. Okay. <sighs> um, Warren. I um I want to say thank you. Okay? And look, whatever happens, I will always be grateful to you for being a good friend to me. Because you've always had my back. And my mom always tells me that friendship is the source of the greatest pleasure. And without friendship, even the most agreeable pursuit becomes tedious. And my grandmother always told me that friendship 
is the hardest thing to explain. It's not learned in school. I mean, if you don't know what friendship is, you haven't learned anything. You're right. Friends for life. Friends for life. <laughs> Got it. Thank you so much. Let's go. Now let's go. Okay, okay, let's hurry before I just think. Okay, let's calm down. I'm just worried about the age difference and the fact that I'm done with university and you're still yet to finish. So to me, it's something for me to be worried about. Come on, Mr. Jerry. I'm no longer a kid. I'm now an adult. I'll be graduating soon and be going into the university. Besides, age is just a number. Age can be a barrier or a blessing. It all depends on how you approach it. Love has no age limit, but it does require understanding and maturity. Age is just a number, but love is timeless. Do not let age dictate your love story. With age comes perspective with perspective comes appreciation we may be of different ages but we share a common bond love love is timeless life is short but love love is long age is just a fleeting moment in time. Wow. You know, I didn't just like you because you're beautiful, but for the fact that you have got all the good qualities that I look out for in a woman, and it's amazing to me. Your intelligence is my weak point. Wow. continue crying. <laughs> I brought you food. I'm not hungry. Jerry, you need to eat something. Okay? I've told you that I'm, I'm not hungry. I'm, I'm just worried about what Kaima's parents would do if they come here. I know. The principal called them. As we speak, they're on their way coming here. They will be so pained. Please, can you eat something? Yes. The worst of it is that Kaima's parents is not going to take it lightly with this call. Her father is a police officer. You know what that means? Thanks for checking up on me. I'm feeling sleepy. I have to go now. I tried using the quadratic equation, but I keep getting a wrong answer. Okay. Let me see what you have done. Mm. 
Let me have the coin. Oh, okay. You tried putting six raised to the power two for the store. Equal to one so sorry for okay. Plus twelve. That's will give you zero. Let's try solving with quadratic equation here. Let's equal to students. Go back to your class. I need to have a moment with Jerry. Okay, ma'am. No, stay. I'm teaching her something extremely essential. Maybe you can come back later. Later. The same thing you said the day before yesterday, you're repeating it again. So tell me, when do we get to see? That's because you keep coming at the wrong time. Please, when I'm done, we can see you, okay? Please. You know her exam is fast approaching, so I need to help her out. Okay? Please. So, Karim, as I was saying, if the quadratic equation doesn't work, we apply the method of completing the square. You know what I mean? Right, for instance, now, y equals to x. Exactly happened to my daughter. I left her under your care, but you can't even take good care of her. My daughter ran mad in your school and got knocked down till this moment. You've never discovered the people that are responsible for that. Officer, arrest him. No, no, officer, 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 officer wait. I was actually coming to the office to make an official uh, report. You know, even though students are not all in school, I had concluded arrangements to shut down. You are not school. shutting down anything till I discover who and what happened to my daughter. Officer, deploy some officers at the gate. No one comes in and no one goes out. Take him along with you. Let's go. Off. Go now to the office for questions. Let's move.
police are involved now. We are doomed. They are everywhere in this school. They are everywhere. You cost this whole thing. You cost it. You do not listen to anybody but yourself. Why? You decided to form this stupid group of uselessness. Where has all this intimidation gotten us to? Where? Yes, will you shut up? Now you shut up! Oh, you you stop, stop it! Stop it for God's sake. Instead of thinking a way to find peace, you two are here shouting. How do we handle this girl that saw us? If. Do you have a plan? I always do. And what's the plan? Mm. A student suddenly went mad and died in your school, and you failed to file an official report to the police. Yes, that's because I wanted to carry out an internal investigation first to determine who or what triggered that madness. I've checked your profile. I did not find any dative background. So how were you planning to carry out an internal investigation? Well, I, I was going to single some students out for questioning with the help of Jerry. Jerry. Who is Jerry? Jerry is a youth copper. He is a friend of the deceased. He was the one that took her to the hospital. Where can I find Jerry? Taking me to this place looks scary. Where's this place? I heard it's called the No Man's Land. Oh, the property is owned by the school. Let's go. Okay, but I don't feel good about this place. No, Lisa, let's just go. Okay, okay, let's go. Thank you. I'm scared. Putting your leg inside the water. Come. Okay. For our safety. She? The person that brought us here is a she. Yes. She is. She. Lauren! What did you do? Mona Lisa, I'm so sorry. She got to me and she threatened to kill me and my sister if I don't give you any. And you give up your best friend. So sorry. Come on, Earth, could you? Why would you do this to me? Maureen, why did you do this? I'm sorry. Maureen, the time is up. You can leave. Please don't hurt her. Just, just warn her like you said you would. She won't say anything, I swear. Shut up. Please, I'm sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hi. What are you going to do? What am I going to do? We need an assurance that you're going to keep your mouth shut. Assurance, huh? What if I don't give you that assurance? I saw you. All of you. I saw you give her that substance. And immediately she ran mad. If you were in my shoes, would you would you keep quiet? As you can see, we are not here to hurt you. But to warn you to keep your mouth shut. What happened was a mistake. She gave us that. She said it was paracetamol. Paracetamol? Well, paracetamol doesn't make anybody mad. How did she go mad? How? Explain that. Mm. Kelly. That's okay. I will handle it from here. I can see you are proving to be stubborn. We have begged you countless times. That you're bent on singing. I don't want to warn you again. As if I do. You won't like me. You know what? I give you and your team 24 hours. Meaning one day to go to the principal's office and report yourselves. If not, I will say what I saw. I'm shaking. Oh, I'm scared. You scared me. What's that? 24 hours, you said. Then you leave me with no option than to silence you forever. Maureen, did any senior students flog you or give you any punishment? No, no, it's just that I I I, I have many straw cramps. So. Oh. So sorry, my dear. Alright, come and sit down, okay? Come and sit down. It'll be fine. Sorry, sorry. Have you taken any medications yet? No, no. I I, I don't take medications. Oh. Okay, see what will happen. Just sit right here, okay? Let me rush in and get you hot water. It will help I'm calm you down, all right? Thank you. All right. Sorry, okay? I'm coming. Just sit here, all right? Thank you. All right. Sorry. Sorry. Going 
she's not ready. Eh? She's dead. What? Wana murderers for the second time. Eh? Dead. How? Wana murderers. No! God. What's all this now? No! Hey. No, no, no. Eve, Lisa. Ah, Eve. Lisa. No. What are you going to do now, Eve? Could you bring your voice down, please? <laughs> Someone said. Good evening, Mr. Jerry. She saw you with Eve today. Have you seen her? Uh, I only saw her in the, in the afternoon. She's not your mate or friend. What were you discussing? I, I, uh, wait. What were you discussing? She, she only asked me if I wanted to be her school daughter. School daughter. simple. We bury her. What? We bury her? Why would we bury her? We have a dead body already. Do you want us to add this to, on, onto it? We need to bury her. I mean, this is going to complicate more issues. We have to bury her. Because it's going to cause more tension in the school. No! No! I'm finished. How? How did we get here? How? I'm talking to you! Quit raising your voice at me! I was! Can you just stop it? Stop! She's right. We have to bury her. We bury her. Have we all agreed to bury her? Take the silence for a yes. Now, before we do that, we need to swear an oath. That no one, I mean, none of us is going to sing. Anyone who sings dies. What kind of oath is that? A blood oath. Blood what? God, I'm finished. What have we got to us? What? Sorry, I am putting you through all this. If you were in my shoes, you would do the same. I understand. I understand, sir. I also want the mystery unraveled. Because this is not good for the image of my school. Moreover, I am very sorry for your loss, sir. Really. Very sorry.
you know, she really wanted to be a medical doctor after her mother. It has always been her dream. Now my daughter is gone. Her dream, gone. I'm so very sorry. Sorry is not enough to replace her. But for want of something else to say, please accept my deepest condolences and my apologies. I am very, very sorry. by this blood oath that whatever happened here today will not be disclosed. Anyone who does, dies. <laughs> What is your relationship with the deceased? She... She was my friend. She was a smart girl. I used to tutor her privately. Is she your girlfriend? Not really. I mean... She was more than a friend to me. I... I wouldn't have gone into something intimate with her. I mean, she was a student. You are young and handsome. She must be competing with other girls. Is that right? I really do not know. Seriously, I don't know. Do you have anybody in mind you might be suspecting? Seriously, I don't. I don't, sir. understand. We left her right here where she died. What? What? what happened? Are you guys sure she was actually dead? Yes. 
I felt her fault. She wasn't begging. Guys, what if she didn't really die? What if she survived it? And she's hiding somewhere in the bush. I'm, I'm very sure. We, we left this girl here. What happened? I, I know what I'm saying. We left her here. What happened? What are we going to do right now? You just keep it quiet. What are we going to do? I think she's right. She'll probably be in the bush. Let's go in the bush. Lisa. Yes, yeah, she was with you guys now. Where is she? There is no Mona Lisa here. Nobody was following us. She was here now. Maureen, are you okay? Are you sure you're okay? Mm. Why you have been shouting Mona Lisa like why are you acting weird since? What's uh, happening to you? I'm not acting weird, okay? I'm okay, I'm fine. No, she no. was here now. I saw her with you people. There's no Mona Lisa here. Are you sure you're okay? Please, Do you understand? She was here now. So what happened to her body? How am I supposed to know that? Then in that case, we all have to keep our ears open to know if we hear anything or see anything. Because tomorrow the news will fly in the school. That's just people. Where's Mona Lisa? Where's my best friend? Where's Mona Lisa? She's dead. What do you mean she's dead? I'm sorry. She tried to escape and she hit her head on the wall. Oh, she, she can't be there. I saw her today. I saw her now. She was with you guys. She was going. You saw who? I saw Mona Lisa. Where? Around the perfect tree. Yes, I, I, I saw her. She was, she was with my friends and they were. They were Are you sure of what you're saying? Yes, I'm. I'm sure. I'm sure. Wait. I saw her, and all of a sudden I couldn't see her again. Wait. I saw my best friend's spirit. Oh no. 
I saw my best friend's spirit. No, 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 no. I saw my best friend's spirit. Put yourself together. You didn't see anything. You didn't see anyone. Right? Put yourself together. Okay. You didn't see anything. You didn't see anyone. Okay? What did you say? Nothing. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm not suspecting anybody. It's okay. It's fine. I want you to know that I will always be here for you. I can do anything in my power to keep you happy. I'm here. Stop. Stop, please. Now I'm still morning. This is not the right time for this. Please. Jerry, you need someone to get over her. I understand your concern, but I'm fine. <sighs> fine. Can I at least get you something to eat? Fine. Thank you. We have a problem. What problem? The girl is dead. Which girl? Mona Lisa. Oh, what happened? How come? I don't know. I don't. I don't know why. I, I. I. didn't kill her. I swear. I. I did not do it. We, we didn't do it. I only took out the daggers you instructed us to do to, you know, to to warn her. And then she she took off. And then out of, we, we chased after her. And I saw. I, I saw her blood was oozing out of. I don't know where she like she slipped off and hit her head on a stone. I don't know what happened, but she. I just saw her. And she was dead. Pick her. Ah, Jesus Christ. Where is her body? That is where the bigger problem is. Bigger problem? We went back to look for her and we, 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 we couldn't see her. I don't know if someone took her or she... she I don't know if she... she I, I felt her pulse. She was dead. I'm going back. We, we couldn't see the body. Oh God, don't miss you. Don't miss you. Don't miss you. Eva was just trying to deal with Kaima's issue and then... Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> Emma, what do we do now? Everyone is bothered. I, I'm, I, don't, I, I don't know what to do. If I'm as confused as you are, I don't even know what to do. I don't even know, like, oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know, I don't know. I'm confused. There is, um, there is another problem. What problem again? Our best friend knows. Mori. Mori. Mori, what's the problem? Why are you crying again? Are you still having the menstrual cramps? Please, can you just talk to us? You can't tell us anything. We are your <laughs> friends. Please, stop this thing you are doing. It's not friend now. Maureen, what is it? Just talk to us now. What is the problem? <laughs> By the way, what about your friend, Mona Lisa? We haven't yes. seen her since we came That's back. <laughs> stop, stop. Why is she stop. crying? 
Hi, Marn. Why are you sure about what happened to your friend? We didn't mean for it to happen. Look, I know you're bothered that I'm going to say something. I know you're bothered that I will not talk, okay? I know you killed her. I know you killed her. I want to Marie, kill her. Shut up! Shut up, Marn. We didn't kill your friend. I swear. It was just a mistake. Please, promise us you won't say anything. You will keep your mouth shut. Like I said, I won't, I won't say anything. Do you Have a look at it. This is an autopsy report. Traces of LSD was found in my daughter's bloodstream. How come? LSD? My daughter cannot take alcohol. How come LSD was discovered in her bloodstream? Sir, you see, there are some bad girls in this school. She must have started mingling with them. Shut up. I repeat, my daughter can never and will never take alcohol. And how come you never discovered those bad eggs in your school? Sir, this is just my second year in the school. And I've not yet been able to get all the bad girls because most of the girls are not yet back in school. But sir, you know that there are always bad girls in every school system. I'm placing this school on a total lockdown till I discovered how come the trace of this LSD and my daughter's bloodstream. No one comes in, no one goes out. What did you give us? I am talking to you. What did you give us to give her? Print your voice I down. Print my voice down. Talk to me right now. What did you give us? Fine. I gave you LSD. What? You gave us LSD to give her? Why? Why would you do that? Why? Because Jerry loves her so much. Even though they were not dating, but she was obviously distracting Jerry from me. Jesus Christ. Okay, what do you stand to gain by doing this? What will you achieve? I wanted to set her up. I wanted to set her up with drugs. I wanted her to be expelled from the school. But I never knew it would come down this way. I am going to report you to the school authority. You will do no such. Because if you do, I will tell the principal how you killed Mona Lisa. That was a mistake. My too was a mistake. Inform your students. If anyone with information on how to get these bad girls, they should report to you. And who will be tied the person if discovered was responsible for the death of my daughter. She would wish she was never born. I will bring some medical professionals to this school to take their blood samples and know those who take hard drugs in this school. That will not be a problem, sir. Hold on. She actually admitted to that. Yes. Ah! How could she do this? That girl is so wicked! Ah! I am officially scared. I am scared. You heard what the father said. We are doomed. I am finished. My parents roast me alive. My father is a pastor in a known church. I lost my only brother in jail. And this 
Where do I start from? How do I explain this to my parents? How? I'm finished. I'm finished. Eve, you need to do something. You can't just stand like this. Do something. If she better do something, she better do something immediately. <laughs> Excuse me. Please, please, please. May, may I have your attention? attention. Please. Um, I, I really apologize for what has happened. But you all know that this school has a very high reputation, even up to international level. We are trying to contain the unfortunate incident that has taken place. But in the meantime, I want to assure you that the security and safety of your children are highly assured. Please. committed suicide. Maybe she couldn't bear the loss of her friend. This whole thing is still on us. Three people died because of us. Are we now serial killers? This whole thing is no longer funny. It's not funny. You are not saying anything. Did you guys see that? See what? Jane, are you okay? Who is that? And what could she be doing there?
Hey. What are you doing here by this time of the day? Don't you have laundry to do in your hostel? I was hungry before it happened. So I decided to cook and eat before another one happened. Before what happened? Like, what are you talking about? Before you killed me. <laughs> I never supported anybody. I never wanted anybody to die. <laughs> He who does not expose the truth when he knows it automatically makes himself an accomplice of liars and forgers. The moon is the accomplice of all things related to the heart. Shall scared? Yeah, I don't. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I, I, I didn't know this would get to all this. Leave me, leave me alone. If, if you you need to talk, you need to fix this. We are finished. Remember, you started all this. Eh? What are we going to do? I told you all this, and now look at what you've caused. <laughs> She will call for all of us. If she can attack in the day, what happens at night? What? What is happening? Huh? This is our description. Huh? Two deaths in my school. Who is Lisa? Sir, I really do not know. Look, Jerry, let's get the security man quickly. I need to make a call now. Quick. Oh, my God. If you go back to the dormitory. Up here. If I'm leaving this school for good, what is this? I can't, I can't stand and watch this. I can't. before it happened. 
So I decided to cook and eat before another one happened. What are you talking about? Before you killed me. Kill who? Kill me. Go back to the school and don't come out. You must face your consequences there. And if you try to come out again, I will kill you earlier than I planned. <laughs> What do you mean she left? How will she leave at this point? We are supposed to be together in this. We are not together anything. Where is G? I don't even know the whereabouts of Kelly. <gasps> Kelly! <gasps> what happened? I thought you left. She, 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 she stopped me. Who stopped you? Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa stopped me. She warned that nobody should leave this school. That we are going nowhere. You mean you saw her? Yes, I saw her. Ah! Ah! Yes, it's her. Take an action. Get ready to bear its consequences. And when you desire a certain consequence, then you should take the actions that creates it. In life, we are free to choose our parts, but we cannot choose the consequences that comes with them. Come on here. I thought you were trying to escape from this school. Why do you keep ending up here? Because you all die here for killing me. <laughs> now get into the school and don't step your foot out. out. If we confess about everything, who knows? She might forgive us and spare our lives. That is why she has been killing us. She wants us to confess. Kelly, how could you say a thing like that? Have you ever thought of the fact that if we confess, we'll all go to jail? <laughs> I need peace. Honestly, I need peace in my life. I am tired of all this. I just want to wake up from my bed and all this will be a dream. Confessing will not give you peace. It will land you in jail. 
and she might still kill you. Look, we are all accomplices to this. And the same penalty awaits all of us. <sighs> Guys, I have something in mind to say. But I don't know how you guys are going to say it. I think it's the right thing to do before the truth comes out. What's that? <sighs> we need to go to the exact place she died. Kneel and apologize to her. I heard spirit hovers around where it was killed. Who knows? She might spare our lives and forgive us. Guys. The truth will finally surface and we will all go to jail. I do not want to go to jail. My only brother died in the jail. I don't want to go to jail. I don't. We are all in this together. Let's start with the apology first. I think it's the right thing to do. Ole, are you with us? to jail. <laughs> I made a promise to my brother. <laughs> it's obvious we all go to jail. <laughs> Before I kill myself. <laughs> I need I need to make an apology to you, Mona Lisa. <laughs> Holding on to anger, resentment and hurt only gives you a tense muscles. A headache. And so Joe from cleaning your teeth. <laughs> Forgiveness keeps you the, the laughter and lightness in your life. <laughs> it is not an easy journey to get to a place where you forgive people. But it is a powerful place because it frees your heart. I thought we all agreed to be here by this time. Where is Ola? Who knows? Maybe she has got into her. Let's go. We don't have time. Please. Let's go. Forgive me, Mother Lisa. When 
Alisa, please, please, please don't kill me. Please, I beg of you, please, please forgive me. Please forgive me, please, I beg you, please. Please. you. I know you've wronged you in every way, but please. Please forgive me. I don't want to die, please. Please, I don't, I don't want to die. If, if anything should happen to me, my parents are not going to take it. Please. <laughs> I, I, I never meant for any of this to happen. I, I didn't even know it was going to end up this way. That's why I'm asking you to please forgive me, please. Please, I don't I don't want to die. Look, I, I promise you, I, I'm going to change. I, I swear, but today I I will repent. I, I, will, I promise I will repent. I, I... I stand on the exact place I died to tell you that I have forgiven you. If you forgive me. Yes. Since you said you've repented, go and sin no more. I should go. Hi. Hi. You're a good person. I swear, you go to heaven. I promise you, you must go to heaven. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi. You go to heaven. Thank you. Do you know, you're actually my last revenge. Because if you hadn't brought out that knife, three things wouldn't have happened. One, I wouldn't have run. Two, I wouldn't have hit my head. And most importantly, I wouldn't have died. So your death will be the most painful death.
I see the stars falling off from the sky. I see the sun going dark in the sky. I hear the sound of a rain and the thunder. I see snow falling down in the summer. Is this the real or is just the mind? I can see darkness closing my eyes. You wanted to bury me. You suggested they bury me. So now I'm going to bury you. When you choose an action, get ready to bear its consequences. And if you desire a certain consequence, then you should take the action that will create it. In life, we are free to choose our parts, but we are not free to choose the consequence that comes with them. I decided to bury you alive? No. Why? Why? Because you almost buried me alive. Doctor! You are awake. Welcome back. Um, Dr. 
Otto, how long have I been here? Um, you've been in coma for a few days now. Coma? Yes. But don't worry, you're fine, okay? This man here brought you to this hospital and have been here with you ever since. Thank God she survived. Um, sorry, can I ask, how did you rescue me? That was how I saved you. Thank you so, so much. Yeah. Um, oh, um, Doctor, the people that tried to kill me are still out there. Who, who are these people? They're, they're in my school. Please, Doctor, can you just help me take me to my school? <sighs> Don't worry, we will do just that, okay? But first, we need to run some checks on you first. Okay, just go less. I was told that I would see the principal here. Look, young man, you can see we're in the middle of something very serious. Eh? I asked my secretary to make sure nobody disturbs us until this is done. So please, go to my office and wait. Go, go. I'm so sorry, sir, but this can't wait. Um, there's someone here who wants to see you, and she said some student tried to kill her. Bring her in. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. You're my student. Yes, sir. I am. My name is Mona Lisa. I saw what I wasn't supposed to see, and the students who were involved in that act tried to kill me. Please. 
They found out. They found out. They found out what? They found out that you 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 gave us the drug that we gave to Kaima that made her mad. The school is aware now. How did they find out? Talk to me. How did they know that I'm the one that gave you the drugs that you gave to Kaima? Speak! Please. Mr. Manella, Chijoke, you're under arrest for the position of hard drugs. And accomplice to the murder of Chikai Maobi, you have the right to remain silent for whatever you say will be used against you in the court of law. Cuff them. You set me up. My friend, keep quiet. I told you if I am going down, you go down with me. Because you're the genesis of this whole thing. She's guilty too. Shut up. Move. Now, move it. Move it! Now, move faster. I said move. You did. They told me that they, they were going to warn you. I didn't know. Lisa, I'm so sorry. They told me that if I didn't give you and they would kill me and they would kill you too. I'm so sorry. So I didn't mean to lie to you. I was the one who reported that to the prison. I'm so stand sorry. Up. Stand up. It's okay, more. <laughs> I thought you were dead. Thank God you're alive. I'm so happy. I, I didn't know I was in coma. You were in a coma? Yes, and in my coma, I killed all the girls. And you committed suicide. You missed it. Coming for my revenge. Coming for my revenge. I'm coming for blood, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for blood, I'm coming for you. Coming for revenge. Coming for my revenge. Looking over your shoulder 
feeling the vibes of danger Hearing the sound of a ranger Looking around to know when I'll come Like a thief in the night oh, I'm coming for blood, I'm coming for you I'm coming for blood, I'm coming for you Coming for my revenge Coming for my revenge I'm coming for blood, I'm coming for you I'm coming for blood, I'm coming for you Coming for revenge Coming for my revenge